Oh, here comes Alec. Here comes Alec. Boom! Easy block. Easy block right there. Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brave 9 video. All right, Carol, Caleron testing time. Okay, so I'm doing this for you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking me if Caleron is good. And I guess you want to see her in action uh, yourself. So let's go. We're going to jump into some battles. We're going to upgrade her. This video is sponsored by BeautifulHello.com. It's a website that has thousands of beautifully designed clothing to choose from. Pepe Frog hoodie, Anime Girl hoodie, they have it all. And it also has free shipping worldwide. So you're going to get your clothes no matter where you're from. All right, make sure to insert the relevant codes to get some discounts off. Check it out. Links will be in the description below. All right, currently my Caleron is... Let's see, she is not awakened yet, nothing on her. Where is she? She should be somewhere here, there. Alright, so max level at 75, non awakened. I have two children. Alright, so 21 substate HP to 23%. Two children. Okay, so let me show you guys some of the uh, battles I have fought earlier today. So, one versus an Alec, we have one without. Okay, so remember, Caleron is all about converting damage to distorted damage. So, what that means is she will be able to take hits and she will try to convert them into damage over time where she doesn't receive the 10,000 damage in just one go she will divide it into a couple of turns I think over 10 turns or something so I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that so right here highlight on Caleron so you can see I think Yuri will come in first right now okay Yuri will come in and smack Caleron okay so Caleron did survive the initial hit, but she dies eventually like a, from the DOT that she has, which is distorted damage. Okay, so keep in mind that Yuri is extremely good against Caleron. Alright, if you see Caleron's, ideally Yuri would be one of the better counters. So why is that? Because Yuri can nullify all the buffs that Caleron has. And it's very important because Caleron, with a lot of buffs, she can... Uh, out heal the damage that she receives all right so we're going to go into details later on uh, before we jump into uh, anything else i want to show you guys one more battle so right now this is non awakened level 75 caleron okay so we have one more battle against cdfh cdfh okay so this time we will have an alec initiating on caleron which is going to be pretty dope pretty cool if you think about it caleron can take hits from alec um yeah caleron is like in fact, Caleron is a perfect like mini Lucius or something like that. All right, you're gonna see here we have an Alec with one buff coming in. Boom! All right, Caleron taking the hit, no problem. But you can see the OT ticks away, two thousand, two thousand plus, two thousand plus, and slowly goes down. All right, so those damage are being divided into multiple DOTs. Okay, so hopefully that gives you guys an idea how well Caleron performs at plus zero non-awakened. So for me, uh, I do think that plus three is gonna work much better, but whether or not she will be viable at plus three, we're gonna need to test that out. So let's jump into it. Okay, so before we do anything, so the obvious thing to do right now is to go to Caleron and try to rank her up and awaken her. I'm gonna waste my rank up stars for you guys. All right, make sure you guys like the video because I'm doing this for you guys. All right, I don't even need her. I already have Lucius, but since plenty of you guys have been asking, so we're gonna look at all the slimes that I'm willing to, to waste for you guys. Lots of red slimes, gonna waste lots of blue slimes as well. All right, can I get an ultra success? Can I get some success? It's been so long since I've gotten those, um, what do you call it? Those ultra success, whatever success. Boom. 100% Okay, so here's the thing I'm gonna awaken her Now this is gonna give her slightly more stats It's going to be much more beneficial for sure uh, The more HP she has uh, The awakening skill is I, would, I wouldn't say it's garbage But most of the time this won't be of much use In a lot of ways, alright So keep in mind, Caleron is something like Benshina So she can get shock She can get frozen She can get a lot of things So having her um, as a defender, I think most of the time she will just basically get attack interference uh, goes onto her. If she hits Dalvi, she's gonna get Charm. If she hits um, Glacier, she's gonna get Frozen. And you won't see much use of this Furious Strike most of the time. But what makes her unique 
is this skill right here. Okay, so damage distortion. I've already done an analysis before, but for those of you who are new, maybe just watching this video, you're thinking of building her, what this skill does, all right? So before some of you guys saying, oh, let's just go and pull Caleron for world boss. It's, she's going to be good for world boss, right? She can take hits, right? Right there it says, can't be using world boss. So yeah, don't be, don't be that guy that pull units for world boss without knowing the skills will work or not, all right? So unfortunately, her skills will not work. So that is something you have to keep in mind. Okay, so plenty of players just make mistakes right there, pull units just for world boss, and then found out later that they can't work. Okay, so this skill will allow her to take damage, direct damage, additional damage, whatever damage, and convert it into 10 turns of fixed damage distortion. Okay, so basically like, it divides it into 10, and it applies it over time. So right now you can see amount of damage switch by damage distortion times 10% additional damage. What makes her so good is not just this skill alone. It's also this skill which enables her to heal every turn. So max HP every turn times 5% healing. If the direct damage that she takes are converted into DOT, she can out heal them if she has enough max HP times percentage of healing, whatever. And also, this healing that she has, max HP every turn times 5% healing, can crit. Alright, it's similar to Benshina. If you have Benshina, you will know what I'm talking about. Alright, so these kind of skills can crit. So, therefore, she has this skill right here, alright, 30% crit rate, 50% crit damage. So the more crit damage she has, the more healing over time she will have, alright? So therefore, she can outheal the sources of damage that she received. Ideally, that's the concept. Okay, of course, of course, that's in the ideal world, but in practical world, you have to calculate the damage that she will receive in advance. You have to be an experienced player to, to know your, your way around like Guild Wars and stuff. If you just use her expecting her to be tanking everything like Lucius, um, and you're not good at calculation, uh, you're going to screw up the, the ability to get the perfect win. Okay, so I actually like her skill at plus one, plus two, and plus three. All right, you unlock this skill. But I don't like how at plus 10, this one, becomes 65 turns, all right? I know they are trying to make it so that uh, you can get the barrier. I would prefer if this is like six, minus 65% damage as opposed to 65 turns, which is why I think she's an ex expensive unit. If you want the better version of this skill, you have to go to plus 14 for that minus 65% incoming damage. Now that is um, quite a lot of investment. So plus 12 is her good sweet spot. This skill right now, times 6% additional damage, as opposed to previously, times 10%. Okay, so from plus 0 to plus 12, that's quite a lot of investment. But let's see if we can get her up to plus 3. Alright, I'm doing this for you guys. Make sure you guys like the video. Alright, so 3 skill books right here. 1, 2, 3. Alright, so we're going to test out a plus 3 Caleron there. We're done. We're done. Alright, I'm not going to go further than that. <laughs> Please don't ask me to plus 3 of my Caleron, alright? So, let's test it out if a plus 3 will be good enough for arena circumstances, right here. Alright, so again, mine has shield runes. I would think that if you want her to heal as much as she can, you would want her to have shield runes with crit damage substat. I think that's the best ideal runes for her. But the problem is, um, she can also receive buffs, right? Besides this healing, she can also receive buffs from Rafitia and stuff. But like I mentioned, her biggest weakness right now, I would say, is Yuri. Yuri can just nullify everything that she has. So it doesn't matter how much crit damage she has. Ideally, if you stack crit damage on her, it's going to be very good. She can outheal whatever damage that comes into her play. So right now, you can see Yuri is everywhere in the arena. So which makes it hard to recommend using her. But let's see in this battle if we can spot anything that she can do on her own. Okay, so Caleron will be the main target right here. Okay, so Yuri is going to come in. So we did survive the initial hit. Okay, okay. Yep, just died. So instead of you dying instantly from a direct hit, you die slowly throughout in the distorted damage DOT. So that could be good in certain scenario, but in arena scenario, I kind of find that hard to accomplish. At least not at the current skill level that I have right now. Maybe you need plus 14. I feel like that's the sweet spot to accomplish, uh, to be able to accomplish much more consistent things. So definitely 
you can see right there, it's kind of it's kind of hard to utilize her to be honest. Okay, this battle is pretty much a loss already. So let's see if I, we can jump into one more battle and then I can show you guys how she performs later on in the next battle. Let's see if we can find an enemy who doesn't use Yuri. Maybe she will perform better then. All right, because Refutia gives her buffs. She will have quite a lot of crit rate and crit damage already from Refutia as well. So therefore, am I actually winning this? No, that, that can't be, right? That can't be. Yep. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm actually winning this with Dalvi. Nope, not happening. Okay, so we're going to be fighting many deaths. So let's see, is this a Yuri user? Yep, there's Yuri, but it is a Christina first. So I think that's interesting. So let's see Caleron's interaction with Christina. All right, I'm going to slow it down for you guys as well. So we're going to zoom in on Caleron right here. So this is how much I have. Crit rate, decent crit damage. Not, not high to be honest, uh, pretty, pretty on the low side. So we're going to have Christina going in first. Uh huh. So we're going to get that converted. Oof, Christina deals a ton. I'm guessing she's weak to Christina as well because multi-hit. So therefore, you are converting five different sources of damage into DOT. So that in turn, that makes it... Uh, how do you say this? I think that might have made it so that it backfires on you. Hmm. Yeah, I think she is more ideal in taking hits from the likes of Angelica and Adin as opposed to something like Christina that has multi-hit or Yuri that has Nullifier. So that's just my opinion currently. So let's... Um, I guess it's quite hard to find proper opponents in the arena scenario. So we're going to jump into some um, Mystic Island. So hopefully we can find some enemies that maybe we can try and configure something against. All right, it's going to be much more, I think much more beneficial for both me and for you guys watching as well. Lyudmila, okay, let's try on this one. Um, okay, so let's try a different scenario. Let's try a couple of matches with Caleron on Mystic Island. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Four. Okay, now that will be interesting. Lyudmila is going to go first. Now I'm going to try to place my Caleron right there, defending. We're going to go with one, two... Uh, I want Mikaela to buff her, so she receives a lot of uh, crit damage. Rafitia in her buff range, and then we give her Elven buff. I think this is can be, this can be, can, can be worked out. But it's just how much crit damage can I stack right now. Alright, so let's give this a shot. Doesn't matter if I win this battle, it's just for testing, just for signs. Okay, so hopefully she survived with me last initial attack, definitely she would. Oh, she died in one hit later on. Okay, because Lyudmila's attack is too much. Okay, okay. So there we go. I think we can easily conclude that she can't really take... If the damage is too high, the damage distortion is going to be insane as well. So I do think that if you want to use her efficiently, um, if you want to use Caleron efficiently in a scenario where it's much more ideal, you will need to have her have a lot of incoming damage reduction or a lot of buffs just in general. Okay, so we know that she's weak against Yuri because Nullifier. She's weak against Christina. Multi-hit seems to be a good job in dealing against her. She is. She didn't take much from Lyudmila right, right there. Uh, can she work against Angelica? That's the question. One, two, three, four. All right, the next, the next goal right here is Angelica. So we're going to have her as the only one right there. We're going to try to take hits from Angelica, Christina, and Adin and see how long we can survive. All right, so it's just a matter of perspective and given the circumstances, if there's setups going on, can she actually work? Okay. So granted, um, what other supporters can actually help her with her healing? Maybe we go Venaka. Venaka gives a ton of healing, right? It makes sense. Venaka over Michaela. Who else gives a ton of healing? We are looking for healing specific. Sabrina? Sabrina does have healing, but does it work? World boss? Yeah, it could work. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go... Okay. Okay, that's better. Uh, maybe just not bring Benshina at all. We shall bring in... Who shall I bring in? Nobody. Okay, so this is a better ideal case scenario. So, Caleron, again, very good against certain units, but also very bad against certain units. Like we saw, she was able to take hits from Angelica right there, which is good, right? 
so she counters Angelica. But then again, do you use Caleron? You might as well just use Charcoal then. So she has to make sense to to take a number of his. These are the number of buffs she has. Angelica hits her. Buff prohibited her. Okay, now we are going to be hit by Christina. So look at that a lot. She died instantly from Christina. Like she just died instantly. I think damage distortion uh, doesn't make uh, doesn't do well against multi-hit units. Like we can easily conclude that, right? So, yep, I guess we can conclude right here that Caleron sucks, man. Don't recruit this unit. She's so freaking bad. All right, here's the thing. I don't care if you're new or old or veteran player. If you are recruiting her for waifu, whatever, you do you. All right, but for players who are looking for advice, is Caleron worth it? Hell no. Hell no. All right, so wait for Seto. Lucius is better. Just get Dalvi is even better. All right, 100% defense can take hits from Angelica. Ah, uh, Caleron. Look at the amount of setup I need to put on. Maybe she's good with Floria or whatever. But do you guys think it's worth it getting a unit to plus 14 and then like setting it up that way? Or do you just prefer to use Charcoal or whatever in her place? Or just Lucius, which is like way more flexible. Yes, I know somebody is going to argue with me. Not everybody has Lucius. But my point is, if you're going to plus 14 that Caleron, if you're going to spend a bunch of diamonds for that, use those diamonds to try to risk and gamble for a Lucius. At plus zero, Lucius is going to be better. So at the end of the day, that's my advice for you guys. Now, whether or not you want to listen to me, that's fine. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Uh, make your own judgment, right? So... I've shown you a bunch of Caleron battles right here. She's weak against Yuri, okay? So we know that for sure because a lot of crit rate and crit damage can be nullified. Christina seems to be her best counter based on what I can see. She perhaps can take hits from Angelica and add in those strong uh, hit damage. She can be used to counter Livia, alright? That's, that's going to be good as well. Counter Livia, but we already have Glacia for that. Do you like want to build Caleron? I'm, I'm not sure, man. But in the future, Gla Glacia is going to be... Uh, get countered by Livia so yeah so there's a lot of things that we can't really see in the upcoming meta but I would say save your diamonds all right Caleron is just in my opinion she's not worth it at all all right so that's gonna be it for this video again let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you enjoyed it give this video a like subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye